This video tutorial is all about syncing up closed hip and open hip conditioning with Steel Mace Vinyasa. Coach Summer here and I have a little breakdown for you. And this is gonna be really powerful for folks that are really wanting to sync up their movements and move between different planes. So I'll start with reverse engineering what we're gonna do so that you can see the end product. So we're gonna break down the uppercut lunge into the lateral lunge, into warrior two lunge with drop swing and return back to over over grip on the right side. So I'll show you it again so you can get stoked on what we're about to learn. We've got our uppercut, we've got our lateral lunge, we have our warrior two lunge, horizontal overhead, we have our drop swing, and then we transition right into parallel feet. So first things first, ensure that you have a solid uppercut lunge. Of course, I've got lots of tutorials on that. So I'll just show you uh, how to transition. You'll notice I'm using a yoga mat Ideally, I'd have a larger yoga mat here, uh, but just because I really wanna get the benefit of the Naboso technology underneath my feet for proprioception, I'm gonna stay on my Naboso mat. So we start with our uppercut lunge, powerful, and really hit it, like land in that solid position here. And then watch, the hand will go from over over grip, it slides on the palm heel, this backhand is steering it, and I'm moving into an under over grip. So if you wanna pause there, over over grip, Little spin, little steer, under over grip. Lift that leg that just stepped forward and come into your lateral lunge. The outer leg is about 45 degrees. The globe just goes right below the shoulder. So let's just drill that for a bit. We've got our uppercut. Palm rotates, outer lateral lunge, moving from closed hip to open hip. Just getting that into the body, into the nervous system. I find this really sweet spot as I'm transitioning. So I'm moving from this plane into this plane. It kind of smoothly comes across the body and you can exaggerate a little bit too for style points. And arriving here, like in this over over grip position, notice the hand, the back hand needs to be behind you in order to achieve mace parallel to the floor. If I'm here, this is not achieving tricep extension and full shoulder pack, because when I'm here, I'm holding it with my bicep. So really important that you pull all the way back here. So again, I'll do one more round here. Uppercut, lateral, punch, recoil, globe is behind you. Uppercut, lateral, and over, over grip. Stamp it, glutes on. This is actually part of the exercise is landing it and stamping it in mountain pose. Glutes are on, core is on here. Next progression, we've got our uppercut into lateral. And again, more hand work here. So glide the bottom hand that's by the globe up to the mid grip as you maintain contact and rotate into reverse guard position. So let's try that again. Lateral lunge, foot is 45 degrees, hit the bottom of the lateral lunge, slide the hand up, steer it with the bottom arm into order, top hand faces away. All the while, this outer foot is gonna rotate here to prepare for the warrior two overhead press. So again, hand work first, lateral lunge, reverse guard position, find that landmark, and then press the mace up and overhead as you bend and externally rotate the front leg and really hit and stick that warrior two lunge. Try it again, lateral. So outer, moving from open hip to open hip. So lateral lunge, stack, pivot, pivot the feet, hit the warrior two lunge. A Couple more times, lateral, drill it. Till it becomes perfect, feel your landmarks. Lateral lunge, bend the outside leg, find your hip hinge, crown to coccyx alignment. Reverse guard position, top foot faces away. Press the mace up and overhead, horizontal overhead with neutral wrists. One more. And now we can put those movements together. We call this nesting. So in our Seal Mace Vinyasa 100 hour teacher training course, we're teaching everyday folks to be able to learn how to flow. And nesting is a concept that will allow you to build from simple to complex. So most simple, uppercut lunge, adding a layer, lateral lunge, find the landmark, pivot, find the asana, horizontal overhead press. Let's drill that for about five repetitions on that side. Uppercut, lateral, sway. 
Press up, long spine, shoulders packed. Return to over, over grip. This is a stance here. Upper cut lunge, lateral. Press the mace up and overhead, warrior two lunge. Return to starting position. Upper cut. Keep the hands on the mace the whole entire time. Do not let this hand come off. Even when you're returning to the starting position, you've got to return to those parallel feet. Final layer, the moment you've been waiting for. Upper cut. Lateral lunge. Warrior two lunge. We can do a partial drop swing, allowing for the mace to travel in an orbit around the body and land here, either modified prayer or order. So let's try that again. Lateral lunge, warrior two, overhead press, partial drop swing, return to the starting position. Upper cut, lateral lunge, horizontal overhead press with warrior two. Next progression, drop swing, capture in your prayer position. So the mace is in front of the body, and then return to over, over grip. So reach up, capture the mace, punch the knuckles down, embody the stance of the warrior. Two more, uppercut lunge, lateral lunge. Warrior two lunge with horizontal overhead press, option for partial or full drop swing. As the mace is coming into pocket, then you stamp it into the final position. Two more. Anticipate the mace coming down. Uppercut. Be thinking about your next progression and where the momentum of the mace is traveling. And most important, hit those landmarks. Other side, I'll go through a quick round. We've got our uppercut lunge. Two to three reps. Getting that dialed into the nervous system. Uppercut lunge. Palm rotates, lateral lunge, back to over, over grip on that side. Uppercut, lateral, over, over grip, nest, the little mini sequences. Uppercut, lateral lunge, 45 degree angle with the outer leg, and over, over grip. Keep progressing, uppercut, lateral lunge, Capture in order, find that landmark. Top hand faces away, reverse guard position. Press the mace up and overhead. Over, over grip, return to the starting position. Upper cut, lateral lunge. Park it, reverse guard. Prepare for warrior two entry, punch. One more like this, upper cut. Take it nice and wide, deep hip hinge. Come through that landmark position, stretch up, reach up, feel your rotator cuff nice and active here. And then let's get ready for the integrated partial and full drop swings. Upper cut, lateral lunge. Warrior two with horizontal overhead press, get used to the names and the terminology. Partial drop swing, level one. Return to the starting position, great for ankle stability as well. Upper cut, lateral. Horizontal overhead press with warrior two, option for full drop swing, and then go right into the next uh, progression. Last one here. And recover. So those are some skill building drills that you can do to start integrating your closed and open hip work. Please comment down below. I'd love to hear how it goes for you. And if you have any questions, get in touch and I will see you at the Flow Shala Virtual Studio very soon. Mm -hmm.